This is Fair Issues on the Faircast. This week's article is entitled Challenging Issues in Keeping the Faith, Part 4, by Michael R. Ash, read by Stephen Densley Jr. This and other articles by Michael Ash can be found at mormontimes.com. This article was used by permission of the author and Mormon Times. In the scriptures, swords and shields are sometimes used as similes for the word of God and for the power of faith. I wish to adopt these similes and liken them to our discussion on apologetics. The shield of apologetics is argumentation that refutes anti-Mormon claims. Mormons are not Christians is a frequent evangelical anti-Mormon accusation. Evidence and argument showing that such a claim is both absurd and unfounded would serve as an apologetic shield. The sword of apologetics would be used to support truth rather than attack the critics, keeping in the spirit of non-contention as discussed in the previous issue. Secular evidence, for example, seems to show that Joseph restored authentic early Christian teachings that could not likely have been known to anyone in upstate New York in the early 1800s. While the shield can defend the faith, the sword can propel the faith which is what I've attempted to accomplish in my two books, Shaken Faith Syndrome and Of Faith and Reason. Thanks to a growing number of believing LDS scholars, researchers, and students, there are some excellent resources of material that serve as the shields and swords of LDS apologetics. The Shield One of the best examples of non-contentious apologetics is the Foundation for Apologetic Information and Research, or FAIR, at www.fairlds.org. In 1997, a group of volunteer LDS apologists formed a small nonprofit organization dedicated to answering anti Mormon accusations on the Internet. Today, FAIR has more than 130 volunteers who hail from all over the world, including the U.S., Australia, and Germany. While some members are ardent amateurs, students of the scriptures and scholarly literature, other members are bona fide scholars with advanced degrees in fields that relate to the topics of many apologetic issues. Fair is also fortunate to be blessed by the intellectual support from the scholars at BYU's Maxwell Institute. Fair publishes an e-journal to more than 9,000 subscribers and has hosted 10 apologetic conferences that have tackled all of the big issues, such as DNA, women's issues, Book of Mormon Archaeology and Geography, the Book of Abraham, the Three Witnesses, and others. The LDS Church News has covered the fair conferences for the past four years, and LDS.org, the official LDS website, has linked to the fair site for response to a popular anti-Mormon DVD. In an attempt to make the apologetic material available to the widest possible audience, fair has published web articles, hosts a wiki with brief answers to a wide range of questions, YouTube videos, a DVD, and print publications, including Shaken Faith Syndrome. While FAIR is the largest LDS apologetic organization, there are other LDS apologetic websites as well. Among the most popular are www.shields-research.org, www.mormonfortress.com, and the LDS FAQ at www.jefflindsay.com. Lastly, BYU's Maxwell Institute functions as both the shield and sword in LDS apologetics. The sword. At the forefront of today's LDS scholarship is the Neil Maxwell Institute for Religious Scholarship at www.maxwellinstitute.com. Formerly known as the Foundation for Ancient Research and Mormon Studies, or FARMS, the Maxwell Institute was born in 1979 thanks to John Welch of Brigham Young University. In a relatively short time, Farms grew from a private nonprofit organization consisting of several volunteer LDS scholars and contributors to a full fledged scholarly outlet for the publication of research on Mormon studies. In 1997, by invitation of President Hinckley, Farms was brought under the BYU umbrella. In 2006, the name was changed from Farms to the Maxwell Institute. The Maxwell Institute has been instrumental in publishing scholarly studies that support the Book of Mormon's claim of authenticity, as well as articles which refute many of the accusations presented by detractors.
Some of the brightest LDS scholars have been published by the Maxwell Institute, and many of the publications share new insights and evidences that support the authenticity of uniquely LDS scriptures. These insights and evidences frequently draw on various scientific disciplines such as archaeology, anthropology, genetics, linguistics, and geography. As will be shown in a future article, the evidences and arguments, the swords and shields of LDS scholarship and apologetics, have astounding strength when compared to the claims of the critics. Answers and evidences are available for those who know where to look. The next episode will include a discussion on the various types of critics. Michael R. Ash is the author of the book Shaken Faith Syndrome, Strengthening One's Testimony in the Face of Criticism and Doubt, as well as the book Of Faith and Reason, 80 Evidences Supporting the Prophet Joseph Smith. Both books are available for purchase online through the Fair Bookstore. Questions or comments about this episode can be sent to podcast at fairlds.org or join the conversation at fairblog.org. Tell your friends about us and help increase the popularity of this podcast by rating it in iTunes. Music for this episode was provided courtesy of Lawrence Green. The opinions expressed in this podcast are not necessarily the views of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints or a fair. Thank you.